Hey, Pastor. Yes, sir. Earlier you mentioned about building the saw horses. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we got one right here. What are the specs on it? Uh, saw horses are pretty easy. They're pretty easy. You need treated wood. Uh, you don't have to have treated wood for bracing, but they, these are the specs on it. Now, uh, they can be made according to your specification, but these will last a whole lot longer than that cheap stuff you see that they have in Lowe's and Home Depot. Matter of fact, we've got saw horses out there that's been on the land. I know uh, eight years, nine years, and we use the living daylights out of them. Now, the specs on it is, is what you do is you buy two by four by eight foot treated lumber, okay? And then what you do is, is you take um, two of them and cut them in four foot, cut them in half, four foot. You don't have to worry about being exact, not on saw horses, because they're gonna get beat up anyway. And what you do is, is you take the bottom piece, you lay it on the table, you take the top piece, you turn it up on its side. You can see it right here. You turn it up on the side, you lay it down, you turn it on the side, all right? Or like I did, was as I turned around and I, because I put the bottom piece down, you know, you can split it. Let me, let me make this a little more easier. You put this bottom piece on the table, you take this, put a screw over the top, split it halfway. Do the same thing down here, one screw, split it halfway. Then you turn around, flip this over, and then you have this center piece up, then you turn around and, and do the same thing on the opposite side. Gotcha. And then what, that's what you have, you have this, this little uh, H right here. Right. Uh, an inverted H. Then, now the tricky part is why you need two hands, because of the angle. All right, what I did, you can make it up anytime any way you want, but I went over three and a half inches, and then you just take this piece of wood and you butt it up in this corner. And when you butt up in this corner, because of the natural flow right here, it's gonna give you your angle. Gotcha. And, and then you make sure that this is butted up in the corner. And because these are three and a half inch wood screws, you, you screw it so that it doesn't protrude up through the top. That makes sense. And also down at the bottom, so you have to be uh, careful of using proper angles. And then this way too, you know, you use the proper angle to go into the beef of the wood. Yes, sir. And you put four screws in each leg. Now the legs on this particular saw horse is cut at 36 inches. Um, you can make them 32, that's a good common saw horse right there, is a 32 inches. Uh, we do them at 36 inches because, um, you know, Elder Doug getting old and he don't like doing all that bending. So we, we make them at 36 inches so when we put the lumber and we stack it up here because Elder Doug's six foot tall. So it's easy for him to cut. Yes, sir. And if it was somebody else a little bit shorter, you can make the legs at 32 inches. Yes, sir. All right, because you're still gonna gain another inch and a half right here because of the top of this saw horse right here, the horse. All right, once you get the four legs on, you do it on both sides, then you go ahead and put the bracing. I have the bracing 14 inches up from the bottom. Again, you can you can pretty much do it any way you want. All right, but this is, um, I probably made this a saw horse um, and I had a last holding it for me and um, I probably made this saw horse in less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Last years. Last years. Last <laughs> years. And, and the reason why you need to do the bracing, you know what I mean, because you don't want the legs collapsing. Yes, sir. You follow me? And you can also, which we're going to do here, uh, we're going to take a, a cross brace and stick one here and one here. Okay. I haven't got to that just yet, but we're going to stick one cross brace in there. You don't have to. It, it all thing is going to do is, is stabilize it. You don't, you don't really need to. Right. All right, but if you want to, you can put a brace here and a brace here, and that way if you got little cuts of wood, you can just rest them on top of that in case you can use them again. That way you don't have to keep bending again. Everything with us old, old and getting old folks is about bending over. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? But y'all, y'all can do it all day long. Yes, sir. All right, follow me? But anyway, that's pretty much how you build a saw horse. Is there any more other questions? No, sir. That's pretty simple. All right, Shalom. We're going to go and finish getting our dance on over here and get the rest of this flooring in. All right, Shalom. <laughs>